I've been an acting coach for uh, 38 years. And uh, do you know what I can't stand? Acting. I can't stand it. I can't stand watching it. I have no patience for it. I, 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 I have absolutely nothing bores me more than watching acting. Um, and I don't know why anybody would be fascinated with it, of course, because it's fake. It's phony. I know people are acting. And so, um, you know, for a bit, I can kind of try and understand what it is they're trying to represent or but it it it, it it's uh, I'm hard pressed to become um, interested in it but human behavior people problems things I see occur in real life and certainly the acting that kind of matches that that allows me to be just pulled in to where I forget for a moment I'm watching acting boy that stuff fascinates me I could just watch that day and night and I kind of have for uh, most of my life. I'm fascinated by human behavior and the human experience. And I've made it my life's mission to try and figure out um, <clears throat> how do we make our acting look like that? H how do we get it to where when we're acting, um, people don't know we're acting. They, they think it's uh, the real thing for a moment. Even though they're sitting in a movie theater or sitting in a uh, live theater, they get so pulled in in the moment that they think that what they're watching is kind of happening and so we get to blur that line and bring them right into our story. That's, that's pretty much been uh, what I've dedicated my professional life to, is trying to figure out the best way for actors to be able to do that. And um, uh, when I decided that I wanted to uh, really pursue that, I thought that the first thing I'd do is um, kind of set aside everything that had been done before because I didn't want it to be a derivative of that. No, I decided what to do. Uh, maybe the best idea was to take a look at what real human behavior is, what that exciting stuff is we watch in life that we want to replicate so much, that we want to give an example of so much, and then just basically reverse engineer how we get there. And what I discovered was it has nothing to do with acting at all. I mean, not even a little bit, not even a little bit. And if, if, and if you're wondering what I'm talking about, well, you, you've had some big real life situations, right? Sorry to say, perhaps some knockdown drag out fights, huge moments in your life that you're never able to go back from again. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, did any of that have to do with acting? Did you ever have an acting thought in your head? No, of course you did not. Ever. And in fact, the mere thought of it would be disrespectful to the human experience. What are you, a fraud? Why would you have acting thoughts in the midst of these things? Yes? So? then if what we're trying to get to are these magnificent moments that just described that happened, that happened to you in life, why can't we find our way there the same way that you found your way there? Why, why, why can't we just use that language? Why do we have to break stuff down into acting? What, what does that get us? What kind of old school nonsense is that? You know, the truth is, anyone that really works in the business, that's been in the business, that works on sets and television and movies, I mean, any one of them will tell you, no one ever talks about acting like that. We never have these discussions. Directors of films don't go, okay, on the third beat, I say we skip the fourth beat and go to the fifth beat, you know. Nobody asks you what animal you're playing or, you know, what your action verb is. Nobody talks that way. No, actually, they speak in a much more... Uh, if, if they do speak about the acting, it, it's much more humanistically. It's just, hey, what, you know, you're more upset at her than this. And we, we, we construct our language and talk about things as though it were happening in real life and we're trying to solve similar issues. Now think about that for a second. Why would you not do that? What's the problem? Why do you want to take what's happening and then turn it into a bunch of acting stuff just to then forget all that stuff and come back to the thing that we started with? Why, why, why would you do that? Really, it makes your work better? Is that it? It makes your work more exciting because you can really think about it? You can really think about how you're going to say it? You can spend time over going over and over how you're going to say something? Because if you have the time and you know what you're going to say, you're going to make it better, right? 
You're going to make it more everything. It's going to be fantastic. That's why you're putting in the time. That's why you're meticulously going over your words with a slide rule and pencil and ruler. But you'd never do that in real life, would you? I mean, you wouldn't, right? I mean, perish the thought, right? You have all the time in the world to go over and over how you're going to do something. And while you may be very clear on what you're going to do and you know what you're going to say and why you're going to say it, what you don't do is ever concern yourself with how you're going to say it. I mean, like exactly, like the way you do as an actor, like the way you practice over and over again in the shower, or you bolt up in your bed in the middle of the night and say it into the darkness, trying to unlock the way, the music of that line. Come on, man. You see, the problem is, is that uh, we need to look at acting in a new way. We have to understand the things that actually motivate us to behave the way we do in real life. And we have to leave acting out of it. Once you start down the acting path, you've sullied it. <laughs>